I'm going to read a little bit from the book, my favorite chapter, which is in here. The five women of Sweet Honey and the Rock were alive with fire, an explosion of beauty and soul. Each woman is so different, but their power transcends the Atlantic. A fading knows every word, every inflection Bernice Johnson Reagan delivers. We who believe in freedom and not rest, thing seems right along. We who believe in freedom and not rest unto the comes. In my ear to my left, I hear a thing sing. She raises her hands towards sweet honey and sings through her pain and her triumphs. And uh, she sings through the death of her son. Until the killing of black men, black mother's son is as important as the killing of white men, white mother's son. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. She sings through her panther years. That which touches me most is that I had a chance to work with people, passing on to others that which was passed on to me through the healing of her daughter's spirit. To me, young people come first. They have the courage where we fail through realizing the dream of Tupac Amaru Shakur Performing Art Center, where little children like young Tupac can go for artistic nourishment. It's when the reins are in the hands of the young who dare to run against the storm. We who believe in freedom chorus swells, and I close my eyes. The faintest voice is the only voice I hear. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. She possesses the next verse as if it were written just for her. It is her testimony. I am a woman who speaks in a voice, and I must be heard. At times I can be quite difficult, I bow to no man's word. This is a feigning. This song is written for her. We who believe in freedom and not rest. As a famous story is written for me. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. You're welcome.